Good morning. It's the 19th day of January 2022. Welcome to another edition of our daily newspaper recap. I'm Ahana Promise by name. And I'm Kenneth Izemeke. With me is the Pointers newspaper. First headline, Electoral at Bay. Rev set to amend mode of primaries today. Kenneth, House of Rev is set to amend mode of primary elections today. What's your opinion to this? Well, Nigerians have been clamoring for a reform of our electoral system. Yes. So if they do it today, it's a good step. At least we have better elections because election is just around the yes, corner. Yes, yes. Is this really the making? Indeed, the House of Rep is set to amend the Electoral Act Bill, and we pray they amend this as promise. As today, we mark a great day in the history of primary elections in our country. And with me here is the Vanguard newspaper. Sit at home, enforcers wreck havoc in Southeast. Promise, the enforcement of the sit at home order took a bloody twist yesterday. Yes. As two people were killed, three injured, and some people coming back from worship were yes. attacked. Yes. Don't you think things are going out of hand? Mm, indeed, things are going out of hand. Because, you know, the absence of peace will always lead to violence and conflict in the country. I pray the souls of those that lost their right, life rest in perfect peace. Mm. And those that injured, I, quit, I pray for quick recovery. Meanwhile, I am appealing to the IPOB members to please take things slowly. They should not take laws into their hands. We know peace has always been the perfect way and the best way to achieve progress and unity in any society. So they should calm down and listen to what the government is saying. As Promise has said, peace is the only way to achieve progress in a society. So those that are involved in this violent act should please share their sword. Obama Ivory demands collective effort towards tackling insecurity. Can it? When I write on Obama Sheriff, has demand for collective effort in tackling insecurity in Delta. What's your opinion to this? Well, holiday is over. Yes. As the Delta State House of Assembly resumed sitting yesterday. Yes. And we thank the members because of their insistence. There should be emphasis on security challenges. We should have this collective security effort yes, to yes. tackle the menace. So we as citizens should also do our own part in playing our role. So you are in support of the collective effort in tackling the security? Yes, we all need to put our hands together. Thank you so much. We appreciate the state lawmakers for this idea of tackling insecurities in our society. Also, we are appealing to all Nigerians to be their brother's keepers in order to tackle insecurities in our dear country. No pool timetable till electoral bill is signed into law, INEC. Problem is, INEC has threatened not to release timetable until the electoral act is amended yes. and signed into law. Yes. Do you think this will aid the speedy uh, passage of the bill? It did it to aid the speedy passage of the bill. From time immemorial, we know INEC officers have been the one in charge of elections and the timetable of elections. So the House of Representatives should hasten up the amendment of the bill so that the INEC officers can do their duty by bringing up the timetable for the election. So it's a nice one. Thumbs up to INEC. This will aid the, uh, the speedy passage of the bill. 2023 gubernatorial election. Pray for God's will to prevail, Okowa says. Kenneth, the sitting governor, Governor Ifa in Okowa, has said that he prayed for God's will to prevail in the 2023 election. Are you in support of this? Okowa is trying to tell us that it's only God that appoints and the most leaders. Yes. So that we should not carry out violence as everybody should be peaceful. Yes. As you cannot overturn the will of God. Yes. We appreciate thank you so much for that. We appreciate the sitting governor for putting God first in everything he does. They are also putting to heart the interest of the people. We are appealing to all politicians out there to take an example from the sitting governor, Governor Ifa Inokowa. Thank you. We will recover communities taking over by headsmen, Delta government. Headsmen took over Uwero community yes. and the Delta state government are sitting with the Cattle Breeders Association of Nigeria yes. to find a lasting solution to this problem of headsmen in that community. Yes. Do you think this will help out the situation? 
indeed it will help out in this situation. The state government and the city governor cares about the lives and properties of the citizens. So, and they are assuring them of security and restoration of their livestock and all their properties. So it's a good one and we are prayed to communities to wait patiently on the government as he will do as he has promised. Since the government have promised that the community will be recovered, we appeal to the members of the community to please be patient, be peaceful, and not to take laws into their hands. Sports. It was good enough to win the African Cup of Nations 2021, a woman be says. Kenneth, are you sure the Super Eagles are capable of bringing this cup back home? Indeed, they are good enough. If you look at the way they've been playing so far, yes, their yes. last two matches, you will discover that they are very good. They attack, they are good. In defense, they are good. In no aspect, they are good. Okay. So I think they are really good enough to win this. So you support that physically and otherwise the Super Eagles are, are, are going to go. And they will not fail our hands this they time. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. Okay. Thank you so much for that. The performance of the Super Eagles from the previous match has indeed been impressive. And we believe they will not fail us. And of course, they will bring the call back home and run through the finals. Thank you so much. At this point, we've come to the end of the first segment. We'll take a short break and we'll join you shortly. Welcome back from the short break. Still on our daily newspaper recap, we are moving straight to the back page of our newspaper, the Pointers newspaper. Onba calls for end of open defecation. Kenneth, it's a sad thing that so many persons and so many individuals put it upon themselves to defecate in any place. And do you think that these people are okay or they are doing it out of fun? Well, according to the National Outcome Routing Map, Nigeria is the worst in Africa Despite and the second after India in the world in terms of public defecation. So we appeal to the public to stop this menace because yes. it is really going bad. And we appeal to public um, authority to please provide more toilets yeah. in the bus stop, the street corners, markets. So our people will stop this uh, public defecation. Thank you so much for that contribution. We are appealing to the state government to provide the necessary facilities so as to calm this menace happening in our society. And also, we know health is wet. Individuals' form of doing this should desist from it, as this is not a good one. We should not take every space we see as a place of defecation. Desist from it, and this will help us in our society. Thank you. And I have here with me the back page of the Vanguard. Ghana crashes out of AFCON. Mm. Surprise, surprise, precious. The Ghanaian team who were the favorites to win this tournament. They couldn't even survive the group stage. Yeah. Is this not a big surprise? It's indeed a big surprise. The Ghanaian losing that in this early stage. I think the Ghanaians will know their mistakes in order for them to prepare for the next tournament. Also, appealing to other teams are that they shouldn't look down on anyone because once they look down on anyone, they might easily miss out of the game. So, it's a nice one. We are, we are sympathizing, we sympathizing with, the with the Ghanaians as it is a competition, so there must be winners and there will be losers. Indeed. Data state government assures data of quality healthcare delivery. Kenneth, the Commissioner for Health has assured deterrence of quality health care delivery in this 2022. Are you sure this is possible? The assurance is good news to our ears. Yes. We are hearing of construction of more hospitals, purchase of ultra-modern medical equipment such as x-ray machines, yes. chemotherapy equipment, etc. So we thank the Commissioner yeah. of, the, of Health and we thank the data State government in general. Thank you so much for that contribution. We are appreciating the Commissioner for Health, Dr. Mondi Onoye, for this great uh, idea he has brought to Dentons. And also we ask for God to give him the grace and the strength to carry out these tax as promised. We will rather die than lose to Eagles, Guinea-Bissau captain. As Nigeria plays Guinea-Bissau today promise, yeah. the captain has promised that there won't be a walkover for Nigeria, that yes. they, will do, they will give their best performance 
and that Nigeria will not even get a point from today's match. Oh. Do you think he's just bragging or? I think that's that's a big one. Is bragging actually because if you look at the performance of the Super Eagles in their past matches, has been impressive so far, and also they have good teams, they have good leaders, and their coach is well to do. If you look at their formation, it's a good one. So the game will be so as threatening to win them. I don't think that will be possible because they are good to go physically and otherwise. And I believe the Super Eagles will bring the call back home. Okay, so what's your prediction of today's match? Mm, I think three to one. Okay, the Super Eagles three to three in favor of, three. of um, Eagles. Yeah. And I will go with a bold four new in favor of Eagles. So today's fixtures we have um, Egypt versus Sudan by eight pm, Guinea Bissau versus Nigeria by eight pm. And in the Premier League, we have Leicester City versus Tottenham. That match will play by 6.30 p.m. And we have Brentford versus Manchester United by 9 p.m. Just before we come to the end of today's edition of our daily newspaper recap, I will leave you with words on Mambo. It says, when the government fears the people, there is democracy. But when the people fears the government, there is tyranny. It says Thomas Jefferson. With this... We've come to the end of today's newspaper review. I'm a Hannah Promise by name. And I remain Kenneth Zemeke. Please don't forget to follow us across our social media platforms and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channels, SPB TV Africa. Thank you for watching. SPB TV, sharing educative and reliable news.